Welcome to Market Masterclass. Uh, this is the tail end of August now, and uh, we're looking at a subject which is very close to the heart and mind of one of the main uh, representatives of Divest Media, and we're looking at Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin is a digital currency. It's held electronically. In other words, it's a, a cryptocurrency. It's uh, based on a mathematical formula, and what are the advantages? It's decentralized, it's not controlled by a single institution, such as a major bank. Um, it has extremely low transaction fees, far lower than bank transaction fees for transferring um, cash. And uh, it's easy to set up. You can set it up uh, ostensibly anonymously. It's completely transparent, and as I mentioned, uh, the, the fees are absolutely minimal. And it's been around since 2008, and um, it was uh, mentioned that it was set up by somebody calling themselves Satoshi Nakamoto, um, which therefore uh, was assumed to be a Japanese, but they've been done a lot of research and the person's never come forward and a lot of people have been um, accused of uh, setting it up, but nobody has come forward and nobody knows who that person or those people were who set it up. And it's been around since 2008, it's become extremely successful, in fact so successful. Um, well, it's, it's traded on eight exchanges, at least eight exchanges, and uh, what's very interesting now is that uh, an investment trust company has set up a Bitcoin investment trust. Now, how has that been doing as a reflection of this cryptocurrency, which um, has become extremely popular at a lot of levels throughout the world? Um, it's essentially, um, as I say, uh, anonymity is what's uh, one of the favourite um, aspects of it, so that. Um, Central governments and tax authorities um, have, don't have the sort of control. So, of course, it gives a lot of flexibility for people transferring money here, there, and everywhere. A number of countries have put restrictions on it and have been trying to sort of extensively ban it, but uh, essentially it works in um, all places worldwide, or most places worldwide, with some restrictions in some countries. Um, so this Bitcoin Investment Trust has been set up, it's an exchange traded fund and it already has $749 million in it and uh, it's quite interesting because obviously if you get into a, an investment trust or a mutual fund um, you want to get some decent returns. So well, how's it been doing? Well if you've been there just for year to date the return on your money is, uh, would be 100 and 84 percent and this digital currency investment trust the bitcoin investment trust over the last year uh, has returned a profit to investors uh, over one year of 311 percent so there's something pretty interesting so the bitcoin uh, mystery thickens uh, and the profitability uh, on the investment trust side is obviously doing exceedingly well and Bitcoin itself in the open market is doing particularly well uh, particularly because it um, has minimal transfer fees and is not controlled by any centralized uh, institution so it's very flexible and it's been working extremely well since 2008 and it's got, gone from strength to strength so that's the Bitcoin Investment Trust of serious interest to investment individuals looking for something interesting and novel in a very productive portfolio. I hope you found that useful and interesting. Bye for now.